Good evening, Soul Family. I'm really excited to share this episode with you because this is something that I've been doing since 2012. It's been a whole nine years that I've been doing the same type of thing, and I find it's really beneficial for moving through self-doubt, for moving through feeling unsure and helping to connect you to something beyond where you are right now. This is what I call the future self meditation. I really connect with this because in my younger years, I've been in the business that I'm in professionally now coming up on 10 years. So the first couple of years, I felt like an imposter. I felt like, who the heck am I to be doing sessions for people, for healing sessions, for spreading what I know? (laughs) And of course, we all know that these are just non-truths. These are just our fears coming up or insecurities that come up. But I didn't know how to fully move through them in that moment, especially when you're working in a clinic and you're about to see clients. And this can be, of course, to anything that you're doing, not just your business. It could be anything in your life, such as your health or your relationships, family. It's really interesting to see these patterns of doubt surface. So for me, the future self meditation, even though yes, it can manifest, it's more about embodying that version of yourself who has already accomplished what you're trying to do right now. And in my opinion, when you do this, you're welcoming in that frequency. You're bringing in that resonance of that future timeline of where you have already accomplished or become that new version. And it's interesting Because you will notice a difference between who you are now and the future person you call in. You'll notice they might speak differently, dress differently, hold their body and their posture differently. Their tone of voice might be different as well. So if this is something you want to engage in, we're actually going to start the meditation quite quickly here. So I just want you to find a space in which you're comfortable, free of distraction for the time being for the next 10 minutes. And I want you to make sure that you are sitting upright, your feet planted firmly on the ground, and your hands can just relax on your legs with your palms facing up if you wish, because for me this represents receiving. And then when you're ready, we're going to start with a simple breathing technique. Breathing in through the nose for the count of four, holding it for the count of four, and then releasing on the count of four. And we're going to do that four times. Okay, so start with me now. Breathing in, one, two, three, four. Now hold. One, two, three, four. Now breathe out through the mouth. One, two, three, four. Okay, so three more times. Two more times. Pay attention to your body, drop your jaw, roll your shoulders back and down and relax, opening the chest. 
relaxing the lower back. And then I want you to imagine in front of you a door, and that door can look however you like. And when you walk through that door, you're going to walk into a future timeline to meet the future you. This could be six months down the year, or down the road, sorry, one year down the road, two years down the road. The first time I ever did this, I went five years ahead. So walk over to that door, reach for the handle, take a nice deep breath. Now open the door. You're going to call in that future you. The one who has already accomplished what you're trying to right now. So just think about it. What are you trying to accomplish in your life? What is that next direction? Is it business? Is it love life? Are you calling in that life partner? Are you calling in new clients? Are you calling in new programs? Are you calling in better relationships with your family? Once you have the focus in mind, call in that future you that is one year down the road. And how I do this is just very simple. I am calling in the future version of me that's one year ahead. And you'll feel an energy. You'll feel them step forward. Now, if you're not visual, this is okay. You can just go by feeling. But if you are visual, take a nice look at who you are. What clothes are you wearing? How are you standing? How is your facial expression? What does your hair look like? What does the overall energy feel like? Do you feel more loving, more open? More centered, more present? And then I want you to walk up to this future, future version of you and ask them, what is one piece of advice or confirmation that you can give me right now? What's one message you can share with me right now? And then just wait. You might get a flash, like a movie playing you might get a feeling, you might actually hear what they're trying to say. And if nothing comes, don't be discouraged. Just wait. And if nothing is coming, that's okay. Just feel into the energy. Now this next piece, when you feel ready, you can ask other questions here too if you like, but just remember that a future version is probably not going to give you every single step of the way. <laughs> They're probably not going to share everything. Now when you feel ready, you're going to merge with that future self. So literally stepping into the body of that future self, letting that become you because it is you. Just feel how it feels to be in that body. Do you feel lighter? Do you feel more energetic? Do you feel more focused? 
are there some new ahas coming up about your path right now? Does it feel fully aligned with what you're trying to bring in? And if it does, amazing. And if not, what is one thing that needs to change? And just take a moment to feel how good it feels to be in this body. To be that person who has already accomplished what you're working towards right now. And remember, you're embodying that already. You're already that person who's accomplished it. You already have it. Take a nice deep breath and place your hands over your heart. And just take a moment here to notice anything else that you notice. Maybe take a look around to where you are, because once you walk through that door, you went into that future timeline. Are you in your house? Are you outside? Just take note. And then when you feel ready, you're going to walk back through that door. Coming back through into your present time, but being your future self. Now open the door and walk through. Make sure you close it behind you. Taking a nice deep breath again. <sighs> Keeping your hands on your heart. And just give gratitude for yourself for showing up for taking the next steps, for having that courage. And thank your future self for sharing what they have shared with you. And thank the earth and the universe for providing this expression that is uniquely you. Take in another nice deep breath. And when you feel ready, just wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, just move your body if you need to, roll your neck if you need to. And then when you feel ready, open your eyes and come back into the space. Some things I want to share with you. You can do this meditation as much as you like. I used to call that future version of myself in every single day. <laughs> and I think I did that for about six months. And it's interesting because in that time that I was doing this, I was new in a clinic and I was trying to build my practice. And when you know within, you know, six to 12 months, I was pretty much full time. <laughs> And all these little hints that I got, I really truly felt like it was coming from that future version who already knows the way. So follow your intuition, follow your heart, do this as much as you like, connect with that higher self, that future self, sorry, as much as you like. You can call in the same version, you can call in different versions. And there was times where I was just calling in that future version. So I felt confident and capable before providing a session so I could be neutral. So I could let go of the stress and the worry. You can use this application for what you would consider to be small events. It doesn't have to be anything grandiose. And please let me know how this meditation works for you. I'm always so interested. And if you want to share your feedback, please email me at trinitysage333 at gmail.com. So I'd love to know how this is working for you. And if you had any feedback for me, thank you so much, guys, for listening to this short guided meditation. And I really, truly hope that this was helpful for you and connecting with a future timeline. So much love to you, soul family. Have a great rest of your evening, and I look forward to the next episode.